Valorant is a difficult game to balance, and with so many agents in the game, there's bound to be some stronger than others. Our advice? Learn them so that either you can use them to rank up, or be able to counter them. What's going on ProGuides family? I'm Royal G, and today we're talking about the two agents that are dominating the meta right now. Now, without wasting any more time, let's just get into it. We all remember the episode 3 patch, right? Every single agent was nerfed and it had huge implications, especially for the economy. Forcing or even just half buying a pistol has become exponentially more risky and it was a big sign that Riot wanted low buy rounds to be less scary. And although I did just say every agent was nerfed, that's not really true, as there were two key exceptions. First of all, there was Cypher, who was struggling to find a key spot in the meta, as he was just a bit too easy to overrun. Cypher is still not that great now though, but this agent has flown under the radar lately, and as people are starting to become really good with her, she's tearing up the rank ladder. The agent we're talking about here is Sky. Honestly, this patch for Sky was more of a rework than some balance changes. She, like almost every other agent, got some needed economy changes, but both her Flash and Tiger got reworks that were really good for her kit. For one, her Tiger had its visible range increased so that you don't have to clear corners as deep and you have much more visibility. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly, her Flash got reworked. The first part of the Flash changes is that you start the round with max 2 instead of the previous 3, but that easily gets made up for by the fact that your Flash is now recharged, sort of like an Omen Smoke or a Sova Dart would. This means that you can easily get up to 4 flashes per round, instead of the previous 3, and if you stretch the round or it comes down to a post plant, having 5 flashes in a single round is definitely not out of the ordinary. And then we haven't even mentioned that your flashes have become stronger in itself as well. The cast sound was greatly reduced, so it's harder to hear a sky player pull it out, and when you let the sky flash fly free, the animation of activating the flash is completely removed, meaning that you can flash and peek off of your flash instantly. Not only that, Riot added another cool new buff, namely making the free flight go around corners easier, and in general just making the flash easier to control. All of these changes made Sky's flash become much easier to use, which in turn makes it much harder for the enemies to deal with as well. Of course, locking Sky even with all her great utility does not mean you win for free. In order to achieve that, you're going to have to learn how to play the agent as well, and Sky is by no means an easy agent. So if you want to do that as quickly as possible, make sure to visit our website ProGuides.com where you'll be able to get help from our immortal and radiant level coaches, like me, who are more than happy to personally help you learn the ins and outs of any agent as well as tailor a session to whatever you want to improve on. We also have pro courses from pros like Tens and Scream who can help you master the fundamentals. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, definitely come check us out. Enough about changes though, let's go more in depth about her kit. Her kit itself is quite cheap, costing only 700 credits in total, and her ult is actually quite cheap as well, costing only 6 ult points. While it's not an amazing ultimate, it still is generally useful for getting information, so if you're creating man advantages, this ultimate can help you secure a round. Sky is mostly good for her info gathering, or at least that's what she's designed for. But on top of that, she also has a great heal ability, which is arguably better than that of Sage. Early round, it's not uncommon that 3 people take about 40 damage each, and when you're playing Sage, you're simply forced to tell 2 of them, sorry, I healed Jet already. Sky's a different story though, you can heal all 3 of them at once, and you'll still have a heal pool of 60 left. And then we haven't even mentioned that Sage also keeps getting nerfed over and over again. This last patch specifically made her kit significantly more expensive, and her ult also became a lot harder to get. She's still an amazing agent though. So now you might wonder, how come Sky is broken? Part of it is the meta developing and people finding new ways to play, and another part of it is player skill with Sky becoming much greater. In the past, she was barely played, and ever since she started becoming commonplace in pro play and episode 3 changes came in, she has seen a big resurgence. Her utility was designed so that you can counter everything by shooting it, kind of like most other abilities in the game. Her flashes are supposed to be stopped by shooting them for example, and that's designed to be the counterplay. But in reality, the hitboxes move rapidly, it's super tiny, and it takes not one, but usually two shots to finish it off. And since the Sky player can pop the flash instantly, they either won't give you a chance to hit any shots, or you'll be too busy trying to turn around, which is almost impossible in online play anyways. Either way, you're full blind, and Sky plus everyone on her team knows it. Did we also mention it's a full 3 second flash? This only becomes crazier when you consider how her flash basically nullifies any chance of the enemies holding a smoke or a corner. Since her flash can be detonated as soon as it's thrown, you can just walk into a smoke, toss a flash out, and instantly pop it to blind anyone staring at it. If she hears the bird screech, she knows you're blind and can swing out knowing you're weak. So much for smokes denying information, you only gave the sky an opportunity to flash you even harder. Her tiger is not nearly as strong as her birds, but they're still amazing for information gathering. 
Sure, by shooting it you may avoid getting stunned, but still everyone knows exactly where you are and you're either dead to the util spam that comes after or forced to give up the angle. Her seekers are also a similar story. The counterplay here is of course shooting the seeker as to avoid getting short sighted, but your position has been given up still and that's information you usually don't want to give away. And her heal is just generally useful. As a result, Sky has become a very scary agent to deal with in the hands of a good Sky player. So before we move on to the next agent, let's quickly go over our question of the day. What agent do you hate to play against the most? For me, it's not even one of the agents we're talking about here, although Sky is a close second, but instead it's Breach. Breach for me is just one of those agents where I feel like they'll use every ability in their kit to try and ruin my day, and sometimes it's just so unfun to play against. Sometimes it just feels like there's nothing you can do when a Breach gets you with any of his abilities. But what agent do you hate to play against the most? Let us know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to reading the replies for this one. I'm sure mentioning Jet here doesn't surprise many people at all. Back in beta, everyone thought she was hot garbage, but ever since people started understanding her potential, she's been a staple in the meta, both in ranked and in pro play. What makes Jet so powerful though is a little complicated, and that's exactly why it took so long to be discovered. First of all, we have her dash, which she gets completely for free and recharges every two kills. Dash allows Jet to easily and safely go for aggressive plays and peaks that no other agent can do, especially with the AWP. To give you an example of this, think of the Ascent A main peak as a defender. Every other agent is forced to take this angle by standing close to the corner so that if they get flashed off, pinged, or otherwise miss a shot, they can easily fall back. That might seem all fine and dandy, but it does have a massive downside, predictability. Since that's the only reasonable angle to expect, it's really easy to get pre-aimed there, and if your opponent is quick to react or pre-fires you, that could very well mean you don't even get a chance to shoot back before you're already dead. With Jet, things are a little different. You can easily take the angle on whatever off angle you want. Want to be standing in the middle of the hallway? Sure, why not? Prefer standing all the way against the opposite wall instead? Who's stopping you? Any other agent in the game would be dead, as a simple flash leaves you completely out in no man's land, but you're Jet. You can simply dash to disengage. Jet is simply the best agent for going for aggressive picks, which makes her an insane offer, but also an insane rifler that can both make immense amounts of space and pop off in the fragging department by killing you in off angles that will make you want to close the game. And that's just one of the uses that Jet Dash can be used for. It's also a great tool on offense, not only for aggressive peaks, but more importantly for creating space when entering the site. All you have to do is smoke on the ground and dash right in. Unless she runs into a trap wire, she's basically halfway into the site with no counterplay unless you spray into a smoke and pray she dies. Staying on Ascent A site, you could for example dash on top of generator or just front site, but also over on B site, you could dash straight into the lever in Boathouse and close the market door while simultaneously breaking past the B main choke point. Dashing into smokes is a play that seems basic on the surface, but is an amazing offensive tool on basically every map, even crucial on some. So make sure to do it as much as possible when you're trying to rush. Her updraft, although more expensive now, still allows Jet to take surprising angles both on attack and defense. To be fair, there's a lot of agents that can do the same. Think of Raze, or Omen, or Sage, but that doesn't make it any less valuable for her. In my opinion, what's more important about her updraft though is how it can be combined together with her dash. Think of the previously mentioned smoke dash on top of generator, but also think of the icebox peak on top of tube. Oh, and not to mention, as long as you buy an updraft, you won't have to worry about Sova's ult ever again. Furthermore, her smokes are super versatile. They can be used to quickly and effectively smoke off angles on the fly, to be dashed into for space creation, or even to temporarily block off crossfires and pick apart the players one by one. I think that last use especially is really something people don't think to abuse enough, but mastering it is key to making sure you're using Jet to her maximum potential. Lastly, her ult. And my oh my, do we have something on our hands here. Jet's ult is one of those ults that really takes time getting used to, but is insane once you are good with it. I remember when I started learning about Jet, it was really hard to use, but once you get it down, it's smooth like butter. Your knives are perfectly accurate, so where you aim is where they go. And no, it doesn't matter whether you're jumping, floating, or even flying in the air after you just dash updrafting. It's a bit of a specialist tool, but arguably it's a lot more effective than a Vandal or a Phantom if you're good with it. But I suppose, even if you don't want to learn how to use it properly, it can always just be a supercharged shotgun instead. But perhaps more importantly is the huge financial implications of her ult. If you're a jet player and you have an ult, you can invest just 400 in light armor, maybe some abilities, and you'll essentially have a full buy at a full equal price. Which means that you can choose to either buy a lot more freely, to a point where you can basically force every round if necessary, or instead you can use the extra money to buy more operators. Who doesn't love operators? 
Well guys, that pretty much sums it up. Both of these agents are amazing at the moment, and any aspiring player should take some time to learn their ins and outs, if not to play them, then to play around them. So if you want to make sure you're doing that, don't forget to like and subscribe. But most importantly, also check out ProGuides.com for amazing on-demand coaching. With that said, it's been your host, Royal G, and I'll see you guys in the next one.